Hey, how's it going? Well, in this video, I want to address those that don't understand how much work black people have to go through to get their hair to look like a lot of these styles you see that you probably take for granted. A lot of people don't really think about um, you know, what people have to go through to do makeup, what people have to go through for hair to get these looks. And uh, since uh, to, be, to look professional, one has to come to these standards. And unfortunately, these standards are white beauty standards for what someone with hair that doesn't do that sort of thing naturally in any way. It requires so much manipulation to get their hair to look that way. And that's just required in order to uh, not be considered unprofessional. Okay. This also goes out to black people who get offended when someone asks if they can touch your hair. Okay, that's stupid. It's totally fine to say, hey, hey, don't touch my hair. No, I don't want you to touch my hair. But for you to actually get upset with them over it or to claim that it's somehow racist for that, oh, my hair isn't exotic. Guess what? For a lot of people, it is. Yes, it's just hair. You can say, oh, it's just hair. But there are different hair types. And a lot of people don't understand what black people have to go through to get their hair to look like it does. People have these assumptions, oh, well, they just, you know... It just looks like that. It must be the same as on white people. No, it's not the same as with white people. So much more work. And you are getting upset because they want to learn. If someone wants to touch something, they're curious about it. You know, you're wearing a sweater and they're, they, can I touch your sweater? They want to know what the texture is. And you're getting upset because they want to know what the texture of your hair is. That's fucking stupid. So let's look at some things here. Let's look at some styles here. Okay. All of these styles you see here require that someone use relaxer in their hair. Now, if you're unfamiliar with relaxer, it is probably probably five times as nasty as a permanent wave solution. Okay. This shit will burn your scalp bad. I mean bad. Like... If you're not careful, like, go to the hospital kind of bad, okay? Um, this will uh, make your hair break off if you keep it on just a hint too long. And I'm talking serious breakage. They got to go through that first. And then, uh, besides all the conditioning and uh, moisturizing that they have to do to their hair to keep it from breaking off after they've done that to it. Um, in order to get some of these straight styles, you know, they have to massively blow dry their hair to a level that white people would never have to do. Then they have to use really, really hot implements in their hair. And these hot implements are <laughs> much hotter and they leave it in much longer than what you normally deal with when you're dealing with, with hair that's already naturally straight. You know, if they want that, uh, that Fox News look, for instance, that, uh, that some of these offer, you know, the Fox News hair. Fox News hair. Fox News hair, except, of course, it's not blonde, and, well, maybe it's not as... No, I won't go there, but... Uh, I was going to say, maybe it's not as professional because it isn't blonde or something. But uh, no, they don't, they don't do that luckily. But, uh, you know, to get those, these looks you're seeing here, yeah. Um, they got to use something like uh, these a lot of times to get that look. These things you put on, I mean, these are, these are literally irons, not the kind of irons you normally think of. Uh, you know, oh, just put a little curling iron in. No, no. No. You know, Fox News hair, uh, uh, with white people doing it, you know, you, 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 part, you, you, you make the parts, you, you either blow dry it or you, you use whatever methods to, to dry it, and then you put the little curling iron in, uh, wrap the hair around it, and then and, and just for, for just moments you, you use certain products, and voila, you've got these ringlets. And you do that all over the head, and then you just kind of lightly pull your fingers through that hair, and bam, you've got Fox News hair. Black people, five, at least five times the amount of work 
to do the same thing in order to get a look just so they're not going to be considered unprofessional. And you know what? A lot of these looks, this would be called unprofessional. That would be called unprofessional. Um, unprofessional. Unprofessional. And those looks right there, you know, that's still not totally the natural hair. That has still been massively, massively manipulated just so you can have these ringlets that are larger. Now let's go to a men's styles for a moment. Let's go to men's styles. And you look at some of these things that people get done. You know, that's going to grow out in no time. Uh, this, you know, what, three days and they'll have to get it done again. Um, the only things that are, you know, you, you've got uh, these styles, but even these have to really be updated a lot, a lot more than, than what, what s some white person with straight hair does. You can get away with uh, going a month or longer with, uh, when you got straight hair and it's not going to be considered unprofessional, but you know, unprofessional, 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 um, uh, unprofessional. Uh, people will look at this, oh, that's weird. Uh, you know how much work that takes to do that, but it doesn't matter. Oh, it looks a little weird. That must be unprofessional because it's unfamiliar. It doesn't look like white people's hair. Why can't they get it to just look like white people's hair? Well, because their hair is different. And again, this goes back into, you know, when, when black people get offended that you want to touch, you, that people want to touch your hair, it, it, it's stupid. Again, it's totally fine to say, hey, I don't want you to touch my hair, that, that's totally fine, but for you to get upset over it, that's some stupid shit. Now let's look up uh, uh, unprofessional hairstyles, and this is what you get here. H how can we, we find this acceptable this is this is where these doubles these different standards and beauty standards comes into place not like the stupid shit that autopsy 87 was talking about i mean this is this is when this this allows or disallows someone to have a job oh well you should just accept that you will only get these types of jobs really really and you wonder why you wonder why uh, uh, black people feel they're getting the shit end of the stick on things? And you're going to say shit like that? Well, they should just accept that they can only get certain jobs because of the way they look. Just, just, when I've seen people say that, I'm just like, oh, I want to wring your fucking neck. I can't believe people make that kind of argument. And then, again, like I said in the other video, you know, uh, uh, language standards. Well, if you say axe instead of ask, you're unprofessional. But you can have some British guy, British Cockney accented person coming in and you can barely understand a word they say, but they're, they're, it's all right, they're perfect. Well, they're from Britain, so it's okay. Oh, they're from a part of Britain. Oh, that's, that's their culture, so it's okay. Ayo, hey what news? You know, that would be okay. But yo, what's up? Nope, that's that's unprofessional. Getting are you catching my drift here a little bit yet? Are you getting it? Are you understanding? Now where I learned a lot of this shit from is when I took cosmetology. And I had no idea how much work was required for this stuff. If you don't if you don't know how much work is required, I, I'll leave a link in the description bar so you can at least see some of the stuff that people have to go through. It's it's really quite extreme. But, you know, I feel the same way about businesses requiring that women wear makeup. That's a crock of shit. It shouldn't matter what, uh, what business it is. I, I still can't wrap my mind around that shit. And people seem to, to act like, well, that's not a problem. Why? Because it's what has traditionally been done? Anyway.